There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. Good morning, good morning to your trumpeters and prayer partners. This is your host of Morning Devotions, Evangelist Brian Bassett, coming to you this morning with a word to bless you, to strengthen you, to lift you up, to bring you always closer and closer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This word is designed to strengthen you. This word is designed to bring you closer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The title of this word this morning is Freedom from Condemnation. Walk in it. There is freedom from condemnations. Walk in it. That's the word for you today. Freedom from condemnations. Walk therein. That is the word for you today, coming from 
the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. Let's read it again. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Hallelujah. Have you ever feel that you have been accused, hallelujah, by something that you have not done? And most of all, since you have been a born again child of God, Satan is known as the accuser of the brethren. And that is found in Revelations chapter 12 and verse 10. He is always accusing you of your past. But Christ had already redeemed you from your past. There is nothing for you to beat yourself up. Many Christians today are going through life thinking that they do not deserve, hallelujah, what God has given them. Amen. He has given it to you. Now, the scripture said that we don't deserve it. Now, there may, may be controversy in what I'm saying here. But in a way, Satan wants you to think, hallelujah, that you don't deserve it. But God is saying that, yes, I died for you. Jesus died for you that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. And when you come to Jesus Christ and you say, Lord, I surrender all my sins to you. Hallelujah. He takes all of your sins, child of God, trumpeters, and he casts them into a sea of forgetfulness. And he placed a big old sign up there. And the sign reads, no fishing. Amen. But there are always people who want to go back into that area and try to fish for you your past to bring up your past and say I remember who you used to be I know you used to do this I don't you let that bother you don't you let that get to you because Jesus Christ had washed you from all your sins amen you are walking in the spirit and you are not walking in the flesh Christ died for you. His blood washed you thoroughly from all of your sins and all of your iniquities. Amen. It is the job of Satan to try to remind you of where God brought you from. But God has no need to remember where he brought you from. The only thing God is looking at right now is where he wants you to be and where you are going and where you will spend eternity with him. Amen. And in order for us to do that, we have to stop looking back on the past, stop accusing our own selves, be, 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 um, conscious of who you are in Christ and knowing that if the spirit of God raised Christ from the dead, child of God, that spirit who raised Christ from the dead, he lives in you. He dwells in you. And you got the Holy Spirit that Jesus Christ told his disciples that I will ask the father to send the comforter. You are not alone. You are not fighting this battle by yourself. Amen. All you got to do is stay Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord and fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Second Corinthians 5 17 says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. You are a new creature. Amen. Hallelujah. John chapter 8 verse 36 says, whom the son of God set free is free indeed. You have been made free. You have been water baptized. You have been filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And you got your name written down on the Lamb's book of life. And all you got to do is walk that walk that God is asking us to walk. Amen. You don't have to worry of who am I. Just remember that you belong to Jesus and he belongs to you and he will do the rest for you. Hallelujah. Who am I that the Lord of all the earth would care to know my name, would care to feel my hurt? Who am I that the bright and morning star would choose to light the way
Also, too, I would like for you to like me on my social media. Amen. Hallelujah. That's YouTube. Go to Brian Bass's ministry and you will find all of our social media out there where you can learn and listen to all of my morning devotions on YouTube, on TikTok, and also on my Facebook and my website. Please sow a seed to this ministry if it has been a blessing to you. Always pray for us as we embark on our way to Cameroon, Africa in three days. Friday we will be going. Hallelujah. And we know that God is going to do great things over there in Cameroon. The word for you today is there is therefore now no condemnation. Hallelujah. To them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. You are not walking in the flesh. You are walking in the spirit. Amen. Don't let Satan make you feel bad. Bring all that guilt upon you and telling you that you are not a man who you say you are. You are who you say you are because Jesus Christ made you who you are. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of of his might and hold on to God's unchanging hands. Amen. Be blessed today. Be encouraged today. Jesus loves you and so do I. Have a blessed day today. Remember always, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. Reach out and sow a seed on Zelle, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Western Union, or MoneyGram. The Lord bless you today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.